the Xiaomi Smart Pen 9 has finally arrived, a bit later than usual. The company typically unveils a new generation in May or sometimes in early June, but this year we had to wait until the second half of July. As they say, better late than ever. The new version builds on the solid foundation laid by the predecessor editions. However, not too much is different this time around, a slight tweak here and there. As compared to previous years, the upgrades are definitely fewer and further between. But what exactly are they, and is it worth upgrading if you have the predecessor generation? Let's find out! Starting off with design, and we get some subtle changes. First off, both devices maintain the familiar curved rectangular shape that has become a hallmark of the series. However, the Smart Band 9 features an aluminum alloy body treated with sandblasting technology, offering a more premium feel compared to the predecessor edition which had high strength fiber polymer construction. Another novelty this year is the addition of a ceramic metal. Worth noting is that neither device includes physical buttons. Some are a fan of this concept, other, uh, others may have been hoping for a discrete button as it can be useful, for example if your hands are wet, but Xiaomi has uh, opted for a touch-based interface for navigating menus. In terms of uh, size, uh, Band 9 is a fraction uh, smaller uh, than Band 8, uh, there's also a bit of a difference in weight, but nothing you will notice as both devices are incredibly uh, lightweight. As before, you get versatile wearing options. The pr primary method, of course, is the classic uh, wrist wear, but uh, the models can also be worn as a, a pendant uh, necklace, and uh, the smart bands can even be attached to shoes, providing more accurate step tracking and running metrics. Worth noting though is that you only get heart rate uh, data and other detailed statistics if you wear the device on your wrist. Uh, the display on both models is a 1.62 inch AMOLED with a resolution of 192 times 490 pixels. So no change there. There is a change though in terms of brightness. Smart Band 9 boasts uh, 1200 nits uh, compared to Smart Band 8's 600 nits. This should help with, uh, uh, to improve outdoor visibility. The 5 ATM water resistance uh, remains and you get a bunch of uh, new color options with Smart Band 9. These include silver, black, pink and blue. Under the hood, the Duo is equipped with a 6-axis sensor, uh, including a low-power consumption 3-axis accelerometer and a 3-axis gyroscope. They also feature PPG heart rate uh, and SpO2 monitoring capabilities. However, the Smart Band 9 boasts improved accuracy, with heart rate sensors that are 16% more precise than those in uh, the Smart Band 8. Uh, despite talk on uh, certain social media platforms, neither device includes built-in GPS. They instead rely on connected GPS through a smartphone. The models uh, utilize Bluetooth for connectivity, with Smart Band 9 utilizing Bluetooth 5.4 uh, compared to Smart Band 8's Bluetooth 5.1 potentially offering improved performance and en energy efficiency. NFC functionality is also available, but only in China-specific versions for both models. Uh, neither device offers onboard music storage. One of the areas that has seen improvement is battery life. Uh, Band 9 houses uh, a larger 233 mAh battery compared to Smart Band 8's 190 mAh capacity. This upgrade translates to 21 days uh, under normal use between charges for Smart Band 8, uh, uh, for Smart Band 9, and 18 days for the NFC version, compared to the Smart Band 8's 16-day battery life. When using the always-on display feature, Band 9 can last up to uh, nine days, so three more than its predecessor. An hour is enough to go from uh, a zero charge to full, uh, so that remains unchanged. As far as features, there's not too much to report. Uh, they offer, the two devices offer pretty much the same health and fitness uh, functionality. However, Smart Band 9 has uh, a few more uh, sports modes and it also introduces 10 built-in running courses that can be started directly from the wrist, a feature not present in its predecessor. I already mentioned the more, uh, uh, better accuracy of heart rate tracking and sleep tracking has also received uh, uh, a boost. Uh, the device now offers 7.9% more accurate, accurate sleep data, along with expert advice and recommendations for improving uh, sleep quality. And that's pretty much it. I wasn't kidding when I said the improvements in this latest generation are subtle. However, there is one smartwatch uh, type feature uh, that is new. Uh, Smartband 9 features an upgraded vibration motor with 20 distinct vibration modes. 
Uh, this provides more nuanced haptic feedback compared to Smart Band 8, uh, which uh, should help to improve overall user experience for various notifications and alerts. As far as price, uh, we only have China pricing at the moment for Smart Band 9, and that comes in at around uh, $35 for the standard version uh, and uh, $7 more for uh, the NFC edition. The ceramic special edition uh, sells for 40, around $48 in China. Uh, the Band 9 is not, at the time of recording this video, Band 9 is not available internationally, but uh, I fully expect uh, the pricing to remain the same as uh, it was uh, uh, for its predecessor. So what's the bottom line? Uh, well, the Smart Band 9 offers incremental improvements over its predecessor. The most notable enhancements uh, include a brighter display, extended battery life, and uh, more accurate uh, health sensors. Uh, while the design remains largely unchanged, the aluminum alloy body and optional ceramic addition provide a more premium feel. The introduction of built-in running courses and improved sleep tracking functionality also adds uh, a bit of value. However, the upgrades are really not substantial enough to warrant uh, an immediate switch for Smart Band 8 owners. The core functionality remains the same and the price point is virtually unchanged. For new buyers or those upgrading for, from older models though, uh, the Smart Band 9 is the package to go for as it balances features, performance and affordability.